It's officially the first day of spring, yay! Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Molik e-liquid. Yes, all right guys, today we're looking at Molik e-liquid available at molinshop.com. Now, I do believe these e-liquids are from Poland and they, on their website, say that these e-liquids are diacetyl-free, acetone-free, and AP-free. And I believe AP stands for acetyl propionyl. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but everyone just says AP. These are 30 ml bottles and their label art is different now. I did receive these a long time ago. They're actually in six milligrams. And I don't even vape three anymore, really. So <laughs> this is gonna be a short video because I'm probably only going to try a few of the flavors. I'm not gonna try all six. But they are a 70% VG e-liquid, 30% PG, available in zero, three, and six milligrams nicotine. Now they do have the TPD registered 10 mil bottles and they're in euros and it's 4.98. So in US money, that's $4.89, but it's four euros and 89. I don't know. I don't know. So please tell me down below what it is because I'm not sure. But then the 30 mil bottles are in euros as well. It's 11.53. So I don't know. Again, I don't know what they call their change, like the cents. I know it's pence in the UK. So what is it for those that use the euro? And they do offer free shipping to some places. I know for sure to Germany and France and the UK. Um, there's other ones on there too. But you have to check the website if you maybe qualify for free shipping from this place. So I'll tell you the flavors and what they are and then I'll go ahead and pick some to try for this video. So we have Delight, which sounds so good. It's a banana hazelnut caramel, but it also has a hint of RY4 tobacco. Otherwise, I'd probably be trying that one. You know, I may just try it anyway. We have eight o'clock, and that is a mint chocolate flavor. We have watermelon, which is quite obviously watermelon. We have New York, which is watermelon strawberry bubble gum. We have Lombada. Lombada, which is a vanilla, coconut, banana, and pineapple. That sounds really good. And also strawberry, which is strawberry. And the flavors I'm going to try are eight o'clock, Lombada, and Delight. You know, it does have tobacco in it, and I don't like tobacco, but the banana hazelnut caramel sounds so good that I, I just have to try it. Here's the labeling that I received, but like I said, they have changed their labeling since then because I received these e-liquids a long time ago, as you can tell, they are six Nick. I am trying these flavors on my Troll RDA as I always do, and if you don't have an RDA or don't know how to use one and want to flavor test without committing to an entire tank full of e-liquid, you can always invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. They're super cheap and easy to use. They come in a pack of five, I believe. I will leave a link below to these in my description. You just put a couple drops of the e-liquid down in there, put a drip tip on top, and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. All right, so I'm going to start with Delight. I know, crazy. Me and a tobacco flavor. Wow, it smells so good. Like I can smell the hint of tobacco in there, but the caramel and the hazelnut, ooh, it smells good. Like I am so shocked at myself. Like I cannot believe I'm going to willingly and excitedly try a tobacco flavor right now. I don't know, I'm kind of like, so the last time I filmed was last Monday. So it was a week ago. And since then I've been like, really into trying sweet tobacco flavors. I don't know, it's like, it's not like I miss smoking, but I want that flavor again. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really weird. A lot of things on my palette have changed. Like, I love mushrooms now. I used to hate mushrooms and now I love them and want to put them in all of my dinners. And I recently, my palette recently changed from white wine only to red wine only now. I mean, like, I'll drink a good white wine, but I prefer, I'd rather have a cheap, shitty red over a good white. And I used to hate red wines, so my palette is, like, completely changing. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, I forgot. <laughs> okay, whoo. Oh my god, wow, that flavor is good though. Okay, so I forgot. <laughs> I was so excited. I forgot. <laughs> These are six Mick. So yeah, there's a lot more of a throat hit there and I was not ready for it. But that's a good flavor. Oh my god, I need this flavor in zero. Mm. Wow. I never thought I'd like 
love a tobacco flavor. It's so good. The banana is probably the least like prominent part of the flavor, the hazelnut and caramel, mm, and then the tobacco. So it's probably like caramel, hazelnut, tobacco, banana, like in order of what I taste the most of. But it's kind of hard for me to vape, especially on my troll, a six milligram. So I'm gonna take one more puff of that and then I'm gonna have to move on. And that freaking sucks because I like that flavor. I'm looking over here because I have a table full of vapes right over here. Like if you are ever wondering, oh, my eyelashes are bugging me. Okay, one more vape of that. Oh goodness, I'm gonna be nicked out by the end of this video. <coughs> oh my gosh, wow. <coughs> okay, so the only reason I'm coughing is because oh, that's a lot of nick. I almost, almost wanna like just put it in a, in like, oh, I could put it in my little 510 dripper. I haven't used that. Let's throw back. Besides, people are always asking me to make a video for this little dripper and show you guys how to use it. Oh my gosh, do I even have a drip tip to put on this? I even think I have my old fashioned drip tip too. Check it out, I even have my old drip tip with the little ladybug on it. Talk about a freaking throwback, y'all. Oh. My God, let me set this to the right wattage. So I'm gonna try the Lombada flavor and I'm going to put it in my little 510 dripping atomizer. Mmm, smells good. I can definitely smell the vanilla and coconut, which is weird because usually pineapple is definitely a prominent flavor. I can't believe I'm using this, oh my God. But I think this is the only way I can get through some six Nick right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Talk about a throwback. Oh my god, did you see that? Okay, actually the banana and pineapple is really coming through in the vape and the coconut and vanilla are like on the back end of the vape. That's so funny, oh my god. I can, like I can totally vape this six nick in this little thing and I cannot, I can't vape it on the RDA but I can vape it in this which is, that's hilarious. It does obviously Mute the flavor a little bit more than the RDA would because the RDAs are for bringing out flavor and vapor. But I can still tell that the banana and pineapple are more of the forefront of the vape, whereas that's what I smelled. I smelled the coconut and vanilla more. But even though I can handle the vaping this without any throat hit, I'm still like feeling the buzz from the six nick. And lastly, we are trying eight o'clock. Mmm, oh, it smells like a hard cookie, like a thin mint cookie. So there's a lot more mint in the vape, but it does, it tastes like a hard cookie, like a thin mint. I don't know, because the flavor profile was mint, cocoa, and chocolate. And so it really just tastes like a, one of those thin mint, like Girl Scout cookies. I liked all three flavors, like, I don't know which one I like more. I kind of like the thin mint flavor kind of caters to my sweet tooth, but I really liked Delight too because the caramel and hazelnut were so yummy mixed with that like sweet tobacco flavor. And then there's also the banana pineapple of the Lombada that I don't know, I really like them all. And I don't really know which one I would pick as a favorite. It doesn't really ever happen to me. Mainly because the Delight flavor profile is something new that I'm into that I don't know which one I would pick. Oh goodness. I think I'd have to pick eight o'clock if I had to vape one of the three and I couldn't have any of the other ones. I think I'd have to pick the eight o'clock because it tastes so much like a yummy thin mint cookie. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've tried these flavors, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of them. I will leave a link below to where you can check them out for yourself if you're interested. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up for foreign e-liquid. I'm all about it. Let's try some e-liquid from other places. Why not? Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And don't forget to turn on the little bell notification so you don't miss an upload. I upload pretty much every single day. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. Also support HR 1136. Please look into that and get on it. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.